Rob Sittman here, registered yoga teacher. I'm going to be talking about rotator cuff injuries and injury prevention. So rotator cuffs, is it's made up of four muscles in your shoulder. Rotator cuff injuries are some of the most common injuries in sports, especially such as baseball, throwing, football, volleyball, tennis, even wrestling. And every athlete that I've seen, they know this stretch right here, which is a great stretch. Don't take this out of your practice. It just, it only stretches and strengthens one part of the rotator cuff. And as you know, the shoulder is extremely dynamic. It moves in a bunch of different ways. And if you're only stretching and strengthening one specific muscle in one area, you're leaving out the rest of the muscle, the rest of the rotator cuff, which will make you susceptible to injury. So let's jump into it. So in yoga, this is a miracle of an exercise. This is downward dog. This is gonna strengthen and stretch your rotator cuffs. I recommend every athlete add this into the repertoire. You're gonna be on all fours and from the wrists to the shoulders to the hips, you're gonna be in one line. And if the knees needed to be bent, they can be bent. This is what it looks like. That's gonna help increase the range of motion and, and prevent injury. I wanna take you through and, and show you a couple of different binds. So binds are where uh, both hands are clasped together and, and the pulling apart of the hands is gonna create a deeper stretch and a deeper range of motion in the shoulders. So the first bind that I'd recommend for rotator cuff strength and mobility behind the shoulders. So you're gonna clasp your hands together like such and pull up as much as you can. Keeping the palms together as much as you can is gonna help protect your wrists, and prevent injuries from the exercise. And to increase the intensity, you can actually fold forward. You can also do this standing up if you'd like. The second bind that I'm gonna show you is a cow face pose in yoga. Um, now you can use a prop, like if you're on the sports field or at home and you need something to help with your bind, you can use a towel or a shirt, something like this. So I'm going to show you what it looks like with the towel. The right hand is going to be up and the left hand is going to be down behind your back and it's going to look like this. The bonus bind that I'm gonna show you here, this is a little bit more advanced. If from an Indian style position like such, you keep your left leg right where it's at, take your right foot, plant it in front of you. All right, you're gonna take your right arm and you're gonna poke it through underneath your right elbow, reach behind and pull up. The more you pull and the more your chest lifts, the more intense the stretch. If you'd like a little bit more of an advance or if you need a little bit more of a challenge, then the next step would be in the same position, reaching around the front of the shin. It's gonna lengthen the bind and it's gonna be a little bit more challenging and give you a little bit more of an intense stretch. Looks like that. These are four exercises that help with rotator cuff. Again, every athlete I see practices this almost every time they warm up, it's great. Don't take it out of your repertoire. But if you add different binds and add different shoulder stretches, it's going to increase the chance of healthy rotator cuff while you play throughout your season and uh, decrease the chance of injury. Take these, try them at home. Rob Sittman, uh, RYT 500. Thanks for joining. If you're an athlete and you want to know how yoga will help you improve your performance both on and off the field, tune into my channel, like this video, subscribe, follow for more videos just like this one.